Hey guys, Vlad Excel with another video and today a special, special surprise. One of the best runners in the world here on this channel. Stick around, find out who it is. Many of you have asked how you can improve your 5k time and as you know, I'm a bit more of an ultra marathon runner. So I've asked my good friend Matthew Ramson um, to share some tips and training ideas on how you can run your fastest 5k time ever. So if you're wondering who is Matthew Ramson, he's actually one of the fastest runners in the world. Last year he actually ran a 351 for a mile, 3 minutes and 51 seconds for a whole mile last year in Italy which is insane and his 5k PB is 13 minutes and 16 seconds. Damn! as a runner it is hard to kind of get my head around somebody running that quick 13 minutes 16 seconds for a 5k absolutely insane he's also represented australia in diamond league games in in cross country in in a lot a lot of races and luckily for me and for you he lives five minutes down the road from my house so i went over to his house and found out a little bit more about this easy yet complicated distance of a 5k. Let's check out that little chat that I had with him. So what is like the main aspect of running a good 5k? I reckon there's probably like three aspects to um, like my 5k training and um, just training in general, probably strength work, um, your threshold, like your lactic offset, which you get through threshold, and then your VO2 max sessions and emphasizing like change of pace. And what, what some of the kind of workouts that you would do, for example, for that strength aspect that you need to run a good 5K? So um, when I talk about strength, I mean, you wanna do like one to two long runs a week. So for myself and um, the, the better runners, you'd be looking at 90 to an hour 45 worth of running. Um, At easy pace. Just easy. Um, try to get over some hills. But if you're just a novice runner, like 60 to 75 is fine. 60 to 75 five minutes. minutes yep. Easy running. Yep, that can even be flat if you're not comfortable on the hills. But just you need to um, get your body used to that type of long conditioning. Um, and then the other aspect of strength is you've got to get in the gym and make sure your, your core is strong and any weaknesses in your calves or legs, um, like that kind of thing. Because it's not a it's not a long race, but you're moving pretty fast. You want to be slick, and um, your technique needs to be good, and you can get to that through just the strength training. And you mentioned threshold training. How what kind of sessions would you do for that? Yeah, so um, threshold is probably the most technical um, type of session to get right, but it's the most important. Like any time I structure my training, threshold is the first thing that goes onto the paper because. Um, that's how you're getting the most aerobic benefit. Um, and what that allows you to do in threshold is your lactic offset um, is a lot greater. So you don't really need to do like lactic tolerance for 5K because you're not um, really, bu you're not trying to buffer a lot of lactic, but you want to hit lactic late in the race. So what you do is um, 20 to 30 minutes worth of just controlled running. So um, for beginners, I'd talk about using the torque test. So if, um, after like three minutes of running and someone asks you a question, you should be able to give just two word answer kind of thing. Um, if you're going too hard, you wouldn't be able to answer. If you're going too slow, you'd be able to give a sentence answer. So um, just imagine there's a red line. If you go over that red line, you start blowing up. You don't ever want to go over that red line. You want to just be like comfortably Control. under it. Yeah. That's your threshold. And so you would do 20 to 30 minutes of that? You can break it up. You can do um, two by 10 minutes, um, three by 10 minutes, or if you're um, really good, you can just do straight 30 or straight 20, like that's the aim. And how would like more experienced runners um, get a pace of their threshold? Is there like a way that you could set a threshold pace? Yeah, um, so for the experienced guys, technically it's your half marathon pace is like going to be your threshold. It's what you would run for an hour, roughly. Um, but there's, other, there's heaps of ways you can do it. You can do it off heart rate if you get your um, VO2 max tested. You can do it off lactate testing, so you want to keep it like under four millimoles. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. But 
for beginners, the talk test, stick to that. That's a pretty easy one. And then the third aspect of this is um, obviously the VO2 max sessions. Yeah. So VO2 max is you're just um, trying to bump your VO2 max up through the, the training. So you want to um, kind of get used to running at close to race pace, not quite race pace, but um, the most important part of this is you want to like get your legs used to that change of pace because you're not very rarely in a 5k you're just running a one pace the whole way there can be some maybe there's hills on the course or maybe there, there's a few surges kind of thing so um a staple session for this is six to eight by k um with 200 meter jog in between and what you want to do is run most of them just un just slightly under your race pace and then two reps in there do maybe at race pace a bit quicker so you're learning that change of pace you're going from a bit slower to a bit quicker um, so, so you would go a little bit um, slower than your race pace for most of them like six of them and then the last two would you go a little bit quicker or the middle two i usually say if you're doing eight rep um five and seven because okay. it's always easy to go hard on your last one yeah, um, yeah. But if you can do five and seven, that's really good. Um, if you're only doing six, just work on doing number five because that's the second last rep. That's yeah. the money rep, we call it. Yeah, that makes sense. What about like a basic outlook of a training plan for a 5K? Like super basic, imagine a beginner runner, how would you schedule their training for a 5K? Um, I'd probably say like the two sessions a week is fine. So. We'll look at sessions first. Tuesday, um, do your, your reps, your, um, your VO2 session. Um, probably Friday is a good day to do threshold. And then Sunday is your long run. And then once you're comfortable with that, um, obviously you fill the other days up with just easy runs, 30, to, 30 minutes to an hour. Um, and then if you become comfortable with that, you can do another long run on Wednesday. Um, and maybe if you need a rest day, that's fine in there somewhere. Usually I'd suggest taking Saturday off. But um, yeah, that's like a basic, yeah, basic, basic kind week. Of outlook. Monday easy, Tuesday um, tempo, VO2 max kind of faster. Yeah, so yeah. Wednesday, an easy jog. Thursday, Thursday have another easy, easy jog day. and then get into your threshold. Yeah. Um, Saturday, Saturday, really re easy before rest the day or yeah. yeah, and then have your, your long run on Sunday. And about we'll finish off with racing a 5k um, compared to like how would you think about going into a 5k race um well both the world records and the men's and women's side right now were run with negative split so i'd suggest running it um like that like controlled first two and a half to three k and then um giving it all you've got left in the last 2k so you want to get quicker over that second half so make sure you don't start too quick and then yeah, die off cause really. It, yeah, because if you're a marathon runner, it seems short, but it's a long way to go if you pop in the first K. Yeah. Um, and for, for middle distance runners, 5K is a long way, so you've got to reserve even, even more. Hopefully you got a little bit of value out of this. I personally use this style of training last year and I went from running a 17.30 to a 15.12 for the 5K. So definitely worth giving it a try. It does take time. Running is about consistency, but if you can stick with it, I promise you, you'll pay off. Um, I also spoke with Matt and he's gonna answer a couple of your questions. So if you have a specific 5K question, leave them in the comments below. I'm gonna get Matt probably to reply from my own account once I do a run with him next time. Um, so he's gonna pick a couple of questions there. Also let us know what is your 5K PB right now and what do you hope to run next year? Otherwise, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.